Hi folks, welcome back to the Horde. And no moon. Anyway, what am I up to today? You guys remember the Lakota, right? Um, it's the one that jump chain, um, jump timing. My son bought it out in Pennsylvania. And I had the good Lakota and he had the dead Lakota. So we kind of traded Lakotas. I don't know if you could kind of see, as I shine this, this valve goes up and kind of goes out a little bit. And that valve doesn't when you compare it to the edge of the box. Right? So this is obviously the bent one. So what I did is, obviously I took it out and I inspected it. I saw no cracks around the seat or anything, no damage. The, um, the valve guide has the um, little rubber thing there, the oil seal on it right on top. And once again, no damage around it that I was able to detect. So that's really good. Then I inspected the seat and the seat all looked good. Right, So no issues with any of that. So then I took the new valve, right, and you kind of, you know, harpoon it into the suction cup here. And then you put some of this valve grinding compound on it. By the way, guys, try not to eat this stuff, inhale it, stick it up your nose, or any other, you know, body parts. You know, don't rub rub it on your feet or anything. It doesn't cure an athlete's foot. So and then once the valve's in here and this is on top, you kind of rub your two hands together and spin it, then turn it an eighth of a turn, go back and forth again, turn it another eighth, back and forth, another eighth, back and forth, another eighth, back and forth, so that you're sure that, you know, you've turned the valve a couple of times and back and you know did this and then turned it and then you, you know and you do that a few times and this is what I got I don't know could you guys see that cut line in it that nice white line and it goes all around beautifully stays right in center doesn't like crowd the edge of the valve going to the inner or outside at any point stays right where it should. So to me, this means that when I smash this valve in here and put the spring back on and everything else, I should have a nice sealing valve. And once I do that, what I'll do is I'll take my little container, I'll put some more gas in it, and I'll, you know, have it so this is down so gravity will put whatever and I'll spray some gas and we'll see if it if it leaks out so that's about where I am um, so right now it's looking really really positive I use this um, use my oversized uh, clamp here to uh, take the re retainers out of the valve and once again if one uses little boxes and all you can make sure you don't shoot anything off into the moon or drop it when you're working on it so yeah, I have the valve retainers in here so I guess I'm at the point now as I'm recalling, you know, I haven't done this in years and years since college when I had an old Ford, was it a Falcon? But it was the kind of Falcon that kind of looked like a Fairlane. And I had to do a valve job on it. Um, but as I recall from here, you make sure you're all clean, you get some oil on the valve. You smash it back in. You use your uh, fancy clippy thing here. 
and hopefully you get the retainers back on without losing them and then then I'll see how well both valves seal I'll check the uh, I'll check the exhaust valve too right and hopefully they seal and then it's a matter of putting it all back together again I don't know if you guys used to watch um, David's farm He, ow, he did a timing chain on one of his wonders. It was actually a Honda, and I don't know if it was a XR100, XR200, or an XL125. You, you know, it was that kind of bike um, where he actually broke the link on the chain, right? the old chain out and while the old one was coming out he fed the new one in behind it with obviously a broken link also oh and then he um, he put the chain back together again and you know where where he broke the link he put a little a little weld you know I guess it depends how much you like your bikes and all that. How long will that last? Well, it could last as long as the bike was going to last anyway. The thing, it could last until the bike died of something else, right? You, you know, the, um, the rod bearings wore out, bushings, bearings, depending what's in there, wore out and it threw a rod and that wrecked the engine. Or it might last um, as long as the case, you know, sometimes the case bushings wear out and your transmission goes bad or your Kickstarters, no, you can't use the Kickstarter anymore or something like that. So it could go that long or it might just go until the little abuse you gave the new timing chain by splitting it and putting it back together again, let's go. And if that happens, and you lose timing, especially if you're wound tight and you lose timing. You could uh, batter the living hell out of your head. Um, obviously your valves, your piston, and if you're truly unlucky, you, uh, you can bend the rod, damage the crank, and basically reduce the engine into, um, into approximately at 10 cents a pound about five dollars worth of scrap so I guess I'm I'm gonna have to I'm gonna take the engine apart to do the rest of it but for now I'm gonna uh, get the head together and from there we'll see where we're at anyway folks I really want to thank you guys for um, all the support you give me all the advice for watching and commenting and subscribing you know I hope everybody's out there enjoying you know a nice day we don't have too many days to the real heat of summer comes in so I hope everybody's out there enjoying their time anyway folks take care now folks keep your feet down head up and get out there and have some fun bye now